Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for allowing me to address you through this short video message. First of all, I would like to congratulate the World Meteorological Organization and its partners for arranging this important conference on gender dimensions of weather and climate services. I believe it is very timely since it comes just a few days after the launch of the IPCC's synthesis report and a month before the next round of climate negotiations in Lima. The IPCC report contains scientific evidence related to future climate change, including on extreme events. It is clear that we need to start preparing for a more wilder and more unpredictable future across the globe. We, meaning both women and men, we know that in many parts of the world, women are not informed about weather forecasts and warnings and cannot prepare for expected fl floods and storms or outbreaks of diseases like malaria and meningitis. Ensuring that reliable weather and climate services reaches women is therefore very important. Norway has supported the global framework for climate services since the start about four years ago. We have chosen to work with the WMO on strengthening weather and climate services, particularly in Africa, to help the African people becoming more resilient to climate change. Our programs intend to ensure that weather forecasts and climate information reach the people who need it most, from the farmer, the city planner and the health workers, to the fisherman in his boat and the women in the coastal community in addition to national and local authorities who need to integ integrate climate information into their planning. It is a paradox that today the most vulnerable parts of the world are the least covered by weather observation stations, weather forecasts and meteorological services. The goal of the framework is to make weather and climate information available worldwide and especially to the most vulnerable populations, both male and female. I wish you the best of luck with the conference and look forward to seeing the results put into practice. I am certain that providing climate services to women all across the world will save many lives, including lives of young children. Thank you.